Yo, explorers, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you're having an amazing day today. I know I sure am. Currently, it's Wednesday, August 4th, 2021, at 9.30 in the evening. But when I'm filming my official channel trailer, I know it's pretty long. It's my entire life overview. I included pretty much everything in my entire life in this one video. I did the best I possibly could. I just want to end it here. And the reason why I'm filming it three months before Bob My Van hit the road full time is because I just want to end it here. You know, just not spend so much time in this building and stuff. I really just want to live my life outside, traveling and whatnot, whatever. And more importantly, have complete and total focus on finishing up Driver's End with my mom. And if you don't know, we started it at the beginning of March. And now many months later, it's the beginning of August. I practiced for a total of 14 days, so please pray that all this stuff will work out and I'll succeed and stuff like that. I believe I've already succeeded, but I'm not really where I want to be yet. And yeah, throughout the past four years of my journey to van life, I've been doing everything I can, working my butt off and setting myself up for success <laughs> to succeed in this whole van life thing. Also, check out my uh, final statement in the description below the video. To sum it up, it basically says, Please create a priority against me being wrongfully convicted and drunk against my will. And besides the being wrongfully convicted part, the being drunk against my will part is not only illegal <laughs> and have like a million protections to prevent that, but it's also bad. <laughs> so that's why I put down there to pray that it never happens and potentially ask God to forbid it for my future because obviously it can happen to anyone. And this little thing I'm about to get into uh, will be the reason why I have such a heavy negative emotion towards it. Without further ado, I'm just getting into this first part, and that is uh, I created my entire life a many different links poster on December 31st, 2020, updated it on April 22nd of 2021, and perfected it on August 4th of 2021 by adding my paramotor and order story videos along with my activism post to my website. A quick side note, a lot of the stuff I talk about in this video will be linked down below in more detail and you can also scan this QR code here. <laughs> That's funny, kind of hilarious. I created a QR code for the fake pandemic of 2020 and 2021, which is my activism post for short over on my website. So I guess I'm going to start with my life story. <laughs> here we go. Yo, explorers, my name is Eric Casey, and my nickname is God's Mobile Missionary, Activist for All Things Good and Van Lifer. I'm a 27 year old single for life, politically neutral Christian guy, and I've been making trial videos for a very long time since I quit farmer culture working for me on September 4th, 2017, at Grayson Hall State Park in the southwest part of Virginia. <laughs> Fighting for justice, truth, and freedom, and defending everyone's rights while pursuing my happy lifelong adventures is the biggest thing that keeps me living. Just about everything in my life has changed for the better since dedicating it to traveling and quitting for permanently back on September 4th, 2017. <laughs> and I cannot compare this journey to van life to anything. Sure, there are some challenges along the way, but all the adventures I went on were so much fun that outweighs any downside and I'm definitely going to remember it for a lifetime. It's my forever life story. Even though I live in a van, I'm not homeless. So don't try stopping me or I would just retaliate by continuing to live this lifestyle. I'll be living it forever no matter what. Because life is subjective and I'd rather live happily on my own terms is my favorite quote about van life and those two parts are in the about section on my YouTube channel that you can look on there if you want. Be strong, make real loving friends, and let your light shine before many others that your good deeds will overpower all adversity and that you may rejoice in heaven is a headline quote from my YouTube channel. I do doing everything I can, especially living like I'm the only person on earth, all to prevent my only biggest fear of being wrongfully convicted and against my will from ever coming true is my only biggest fear. <laughs> Here it is again. I quit farming cold turkey and permanently on September 4th, 2017. You have no idea how much unnecessary and illegal damage that insanely fucked up, truly evil, and poisonous death causing bullshit did to me. I cannot truly explain or tell you how amazing quitting was. Everything good has came after that. It's definitely been a wild ride, overall fun and awesomeness, and my greatest lifetime lasting legacy will be successfully destroying the entire farmer industry so they never ruin people's lives ever again, is my greatest life-saving decision. And this extra part that I didn't put in there is the way I'm going to do that is bankrupting them by telling you that you don't need that crap. <laughs> we all have natural healing for Pete's sake. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> 
During the high function autism I used to have in my previous life, quitting pharma cold turkey and permaling and making hundreds of YouTube videos of me traveling all over the world for decades are my greatest accomplishments. The Fighter by Gym Class Heroes, Where is the Love by the Black Eyed Peas, and Birds by Imagine Dragons are my top three lifelong favorite songs. My one word is happiness, and finally, my all time favorite Bible verse is John 3 16. <laughs> Also, throughout these past four years, years of my journey to van life, I've been living in an 8x14 Amish style storage building that I converted to living space with help from my older brother in October of 2015, located about 100 feet down the side yard of my mom's house in what I call the Valley of Freedom, which is specifically the town of Crook Creek, Virginia. You can tap uh, up top here for my uh, tour of my building I did a while ago. Obviously, it looks different now. My dad passed away with Alzheimer's on February 15th, 2019, and now I live in a 2011 Chevy Express cargo van that I converted to live in space all by myself. And obviously, I'm not quite there yet, but that will be true. <laughs> Guarantee it. Anyway, I'm super excited that I finally succeeded at this. Here's the first eight years of my van life adventure, and let the adventure begin, buddy. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some fun up here. <laughs> I am going to move on to this thing. <laughs> Life has always been about between good and evil, and more people need to stop arguing, judging, and demonizing everything, and trust me and everyone else in the positive side of life by waking up and accepting the absolute truth behind all forms of evil, or the violent haters of the violent administration, their shadow government, hiding in underground buffers of the deep state, big former Chinese officials, CNN, and even the fake mainstream media, along with their so-called political correct fact-checkers and all those perks, the CDC, the WHO, and many other internal entities such as Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton, in charge of the corrupting democratic political party's evil diabolical plan since the Spanish flu in 1918 and beyond is to accomplish stealing the election first and control the constitution, keep pushing towards people who believe in a human race, remaking society, dividing us and causing more bad tension by spreading fear by and bullcrap, using anything that did as an overhead scare tactic. Silence and cancel anyone that can fit their narrative, lock down the world by pressure and art, essential and non-essential private businesses and churches to close with violence the Tenth Amendment, go to the extreme to stop us from entering them and function normal society and toward the microchip and vaccine passport, compromise our health and safety by imposing many restrictions, season reveal things and saving our guns so we're not only to defend ourselves from the bad people flooding the southern border that they open all for money and power, and the closest they came to succeeding is where create a truth report self distraction called the coronavirus, which is created in the Institute of Biological Attack, located in Wuhan, China, Iran, by fake Dr. Fauci, that was used as a biological weapon, the fake free of charge vaccine is gene therapy that has no immune effect whatsoever, meaning it's killing you by destroying your natural immune system because it was a Russian experiment or project. They don't list the ingredients in the box and they're not liable to see because they've never been FDA approved and never will. There's great on corrupt health organizations with horrible track records. They recommend running too fast so we can dodge our suffocation. They lie about the testing and throw on brainwashing lies such as the junk science of asymptomatic carriers. They've been censoring all alternative cures. No Gates has a book about how to lie using statistics. They, they're even trying to jab our kids and pets with this poison that I call Satan's book, the beast. They may change the data for fulfilled death juice, but we would never comply, nor consent, to their evilness that they keep dragging on. And I completely understand that we're all tired of this stuff. I don't know why they don't leave us alone. I don't know how they're legally allowed to continue promoting this shit. But everyone on the positive side of life needs to destroy all forms of evil and stop the United States government who are trying to control our lives with these evil mandates by standing, protesting, firing, and voting these asshole, uh, hypocritical politicians out of office, reinaugurating our true President Trump or electing some other real Republican because this entire fake pandemic was another attack on our human plus control rights, our ADA and religious dignity, the Nuremberg Code, especially our right to travel freely, and anything that's mandatory, including all health-related travel checks, which are not enforceable and would never be the law because we all have the right to say no and defend ourselves by using our second amendment right. We all need to stand up and defend this country from becoming a communist socialist or dictatorship device needs of death by breaking all tyrannical bad laws and stop all crimes against humanity, even if it results in a war, banning the real threat called the trap, eliminating our status of having the highest incarceration rate in the world, or free all known political victim people, abolishing the idea of your either a slave or a criminal, encourage more parents to let your kids play the dirt and live their lives because their immune system is not fully developed, and most people have a 99.9% .9 chance of surviving on the virus because COVID is the flu. We all used to live in desert caves and stick forest forts, literally. Trust in God and pray that we'll lose more again than we will because we destroyed Hitler in World War II. And fight against these examples of dictatorial behavior now if you care anything about your life because you can never change history and buy back time. And all of this is common sense that we need to accept. Boom. Mic drop. <laughs> Alright, before I move on to the sections, I just want to share this legal form with you all. And just like the QR code that I shared with you and the link down below to my activism post, there's another link in the post itself under my self-defense bumper sticker where you can actually print out a copy of this to yourself. And if I get stopped on the road or anywhere for that matter, legally, by definition, like no matter what, I have every right to fill out these blanks on this sheet of paper or the digital version on my phone and hand it in to some kind of like law enforcement 
place or PlayStation or whatever, and the people that are trying to quote unquote drug me against my will will be put on legal notice. Literally. It's insane. And I printed this out on July 28th, so this was just recent. I just found out about this. And uh, it's from the website VaxChoice.com, V-A-X-S-Choice.com. So I highly recommend printing out multiple copies of these for yourself because we are seriously in a war. If you don't recognize it, if you're living in a freaking under a rock. <laughs> I swear, I'm so glad I printed this thing out. Because now, I actually have something legal, like, piece of paper, like, legitimate, that can forbid my only biggest fear from happening, <laughs> which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get into six sections of my life, starting with number one that I think I'm just going to read here on my phone. See, here we go. The first one are my four YouTube channels, such as my main vlog channel. My most important videos on there are my channel trailer, three year life recap, tour of my building, and online protest. I've also been on three big road trips, such as my mountain cycling adventure on my old manual bike in July of 2018, my scooter mountain adventure on my old 49cc scooter in March of 2019, and my West Virginia cycle ride on my old e bike in July of 2020. Then I have my Landscape Rise Above and Navigation Boon channels, is that, and that's for my Rise Above channel. I have content such as 7 videos in the Van Life Movement is Real playlist. Obviously the first one is my 2.5 hour long Van Life documentary where I featured 134 people linked in the description of that. And the other 6 have their own message, and throughout all of them, the main person uh, I featured in there. His name is Chrome Valdez. His YouTube channel is Van City Van Life. He lives up in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. He went coast to coast once. He reached 100,000 subscribers at the end of October of 2020. And now, a little over nine months later, I think he has 182,000. And he's a really cool guy. He also gave me a shout out in one of his videos where I sent him an inflatable kayak. For Christmas in 2019. I featured that one clip in my traveling and making great lifelong friends are ingrained in my soul video over on my main channel. And Chrome, thank you for watching this. Keep up the great work. I'm excited to meet you in person one day. Whenever I can make it up there to Canada or whatever. He's pretty far. And I think you're really awesome. And now moving on, I have my random thoughts about life video, that's the short title, the long title is my professional opinion about the government, how to fight for your freedom. That video, along with my van life documentary, is linked at the end screen of every single one of my videos on my main channel, and it's pretty cool. And on the next one is the top 7 greatest pieces of life advice by Ty Lopez, that's the very first video I uploaded to my Rise Love channel. And then I have my funniest standout YouTube content. And my ultimate YouTuber comedy reel videos. <laughs> then moving on, I have my conversion process of Tucker Hot Sprinter Van and the rebirth of my old friend videos on my Navigation Boo channel. And finally some cool stuff on my landscape channel. <laughs> and now the second section is my social media networks, such as Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, with many inspiring things such as 320 posts on the live fit section of my Facebook page, <laughs> which is pretty nuts. And thank God I'm finally 100% finished with organizing my life as of August 5th, 2021. So, if you want to know everything about me, that's the place, place to go. So go there. <laughs> and now the third section are some ways you can support me. Such as my Patreon page. And if you're interested, it's three bucks a month. You get early release videos, beyond the scenes content, a shout out at the end of every one of my videos, and we reach our goal of 200 followers. I'll be mailing everyone a free photo magnet. All you got to do is get a screenshot of the one that you want over on the landscape print section of my website and send it to me along with your address and a private message using the Patreon app and you'll truly be along for the ride. Along with that, I have some landscape prints on my website and then I have seven total t-shirt designs on my rolling arrival apparel merch store and finally my travel gear list on Amazon which is just the list because I haven't set up my uh, Amazon affiliate program thing. And now the fourth section are some songs I've made on my website called All Time Favorite Songs and Live Free. <laughs> Besides the two songs on there, 
I have like a text document which features every other song I've ever like came across in my life and you can find that link um, on my origin story video thing on my website it's like the top of the page or something and now the fifth section are the nine total playlists I've created on my main YouTube channel such as 75 videos and the greatest life changing videos ever in November of 2018 100 videos and other inspiring videos in May of 2019 200 videos and more inspiring stuff in July of 2019 my top 20 favorite paramotor videos in April of 2020 and about a year and three months later I added more to it to equal a total of 65 and renamed it to the greatest paramotor videos of all time and made an hour long compilation that I mentioned at the beginning of this video and now moving on is my top 20 favorite Gary Vee videos in November of 2019 my top 10 favorite middle ground videos in June of 2019 my top 8 all time favorite comedy videos in July of 2019 30 videos in my funniest standout YouTube content in December of 2020, and 9 in my Gospel for Missionary in April of 2020. And now finally, the 6th and final section are some random details, such as the 33 comments my mom has made towards me throughout the last 4 years of my journey to van life that you can check out on my website, the 550 pictures, 566 songs, 17 videos and 17 apps, on my iPhone 12 mini 5G smartphone that I pay $116 a month for a limited data through Verizon Wireless. Here it is right here, I'm holding it. Uh, I have 579 subscribers and 10,000 total channel views on my main YouTube channel, along with 133 total videos uploaded, and 117 of those are on my Binge Watch All playlist, where you can watch my entire journey from the very beginning by clicking up top here, or the link below. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, everything's linked below. <laughs> and I guess that's basically it. So, like always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, welcome to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys in my van life adventure. Alright, peace out, yo! <laughs> I thought I wanted to come back in here real quick and show you my temporary ghetto filming setup. <laughs> Look at that, it's pretty freaking hilarious. And for those of you who don't know what van life is, it's basically a blanket term for all the other nomadic slash alternative lifestyles that's not like a traditional sticks and bricks house or whatever. You got things like vans, cars, trucks, buses, the classic RVs, and a tiny house, which is technically one of them right now. And then in my opinion, you got the most basic form ever, which is the old camping tents, aka traveling on foot in a backpack and stuff like that. And here's my backpack right there, clipped to my tripod with my ghetto light. And there's my microphone with a sock on top of my camera. It's pretty freaking hilarious. And I guess that's basically it for my channel trailer. <laughs>